Hello, my name is Catherine. I'm the office lead for Craggy Development Trust and I'm going to talk to you today about Muhammad Ali. So Muhammad Ali was born Cassius Marcellus Clay Jr. on the 17th of January 1942. Ali was an American professional boxer, activist and philanthropist. Nicknamed the greatest, he is widely regarded as one of the most significant and celebrated figures of the 20th century and as one of the greatest boxers of all time. Ali was born and raised in Louisville, Kentucky and began training as an amateur boxer at the age of 12. At 18, he won a gold medal in the light heavyweight division at the 1960 Summer Olympics and turned professional later that year. He converted to Islam and became a Muslim after 1961 and eventually took the name Muhammad Ali. He won the World Heavyweight Championship at age 22 in 1964. In 1966, Ali refused to be drafted into the military, citing his religious beliefs and opposition to the Vietnam War. He then faced five years in prison and was stripped of his boxing titles. He refused to jeopardise his life while abroad while black men and women were being persecuted by the state, assaulted by dogs and policemen, denied service at restaurants and entry into colleges and killed on the streets of the US. Ali appealed the decision to the Supreme Court which overturned his conviction in 1971. However, his courage cost him his title, millions of dollars, and more than three years of his fighting crime. Crucial to Ali's connections with civil rights workers was their shared sense of urgency. Activists who were putting everything on the line, including their lives, could relate to Ali, who risked just about everything he had as a conscientious objector to the Vietnam War. Ali supported racial integration and became an advocate for peace. Ali was a leading heavyweight boxer of the 20th century. He is regarded as one of the fastest boxers ever and is also known for his ability to absorb punishment and continue fighting. He has been ranked by many boxing historians as the greatest heavyweight boxer of all time and as the greatest athlete of the 20th century. Ali's fight with George Foreman known as the Rumble in the Jungle, has been called arguably the greatest sporting event of the 20th century, becoming the world's most watched live television broadcast at the time. Even many years after he retired, Muhammad Ali was still referred to as the most famous person on the planet. Ali was known to be a very generous person who loved attention as well as making other people happy. He never rejected an autograph as how he remembered how he'd felt as a youth when he was denied an autograph from his idol, Sugar Ray Robinson. He would sometimes spend hours meeting people and signing autographs. He also loved visiting patients in hospitals and nursing homes and did so many times throughout his life to make people happy. Ali also attained success as a musician receiving two Grammy Award music nominations. He was an occasional actor and a writer who released two autobiographies. Ali retired from boxing in 1981 and focused on religion, helping people by donating millions to charities and marching for people's rights to raise awareness for issues in the US and elsewhere. In 1984, he made public his diagnosis of Parkinson's disease. He remained an active public figure globally, but his, in his later years made increasingly limited public appearances as his condition worsened and he was cared for by his family. Ali died on June the 3rd, 2016. Ali's 74 years of life is far more than a narrative about boxing's greatest champion but an unparalleled American life that reveals the nation's turbulence and tides, domestic struggles and foreign strife. While raising his fists in the ring against boxing's toughest opponents, Ali also raised his voice against racial, racial segregation and anti-blackness, war and fear of Islam outside of it. That was at a time when all four were at a boiling point in the United States.
United States. Unlike the athletes that came before him, Ali used his athletic profile to amplify his political voice. Instead of seeking endorsements, Ali capitalised on his brand to condemn institutionalised anti-blackness in the US, white supremacy and make real change happen. Ali's brilliance was rooted in his defiance of convention and custom. He paved his own way inside and especially outside of the ring. His charisma only surpassed by his courage, which was on full display, not in prize fighting, but in politics. A black and Muslim radical at a time when being either came with great risk, Ali not only survived, but flourished. And in the process, lifting the bowed heads of black people, Muslims, the downtrodden and underdogs, the world over. He was not only the most famous man in the world, but by a far stretch, its most loved. He meant so much to so many people across generational, racial and national boundaries. Ali embodied black power before Black Lives Matter movement, providing a blueprint for today's activists protesting for racial justice. Muhammad Ali once said, if my mind can conceive it and my heart can believe it, then I can achieve it.